Do you really think union learning is for you? Are you trying to second guess your decision? Don't worry, in this video, you're going to find out pro union learning. <laughs> people i'm sure me thanks for stopping by i'm sorry for the noise you are hearing there's a construction going on right in front of my house or let's like say behind my house anyway that's the reason for the noise and i want to apologize for the noise so in today's video i'm going to give you guys pro studying in learning so if you've always wanted to study in learning you want to know reasons why you study in learning and reasons why you should not then you want to stay tuned to this video so i'm going to give you some pros of studying in learning so you can be prepared so the very first thing just like being in any just like any other school freedom you have freedom to move around you have the freedom to go to school if you want or not you have freedom like freedom from your parents freedom to do whatever you want to do however this freedom has limitations but you have more freedom than you than you had when you were in secondary school most likely even if you at, decide to attend a private school you still have a certain level of freedom than when you were in secondary school because not no lecturer would be would be um monitoring you or whatever except the person has eyes on you or whatever but you have a certain level of freedom another thing is the fees you pay the school fees the school fees is actually very very cheap it is cheap i'm not going to say affordable it is cheap but cheap is relative is relative because but in my in my opinion is actually cheap the it, it was only my hundred level that i know that i it wasn't with the expenses here but it was my hundred level that i paid the highest amount i think i paid 50 something thousand in my hundred level and that was because of most times on your level fees is usually higher than other levels then because i did change of course and and some other things shall that also made the money so high then for my son level i paid 20 something thousand i think 27 or 28 thousand my level to 20 something thousand if this fees school fees vary from departments and faculties if you are studying courses like medicine law your school will be relatively higher next than pro other courses on my list of studying in learning is safe environment though there have been few cases of insecurity but it is it was attended to immediately because there was a time when a girl was attacked with a knife but thankfully she survived but relatively in learning is safe you see there's no time of day people can walk you, if you come out of your hostel three o'clock four o'clock you see people on the road especially there's a place there's a um a fast food at there's a fast food in my school in learning i think seven so around the i think seven area there's this guy i don't know if it's a guy or a girl that sells indomie there's another person too that sells bread toast bread in the night because some people they always feel hungry in the night so you see people outside chat so that place is always very lively and bubbly like from that then to like two but any time you walk people are always outside and the environment is safe you can go to class go to library go for night class go and read go and see your friend at any time and you'll be safe in as much as the environment is safe you also try to keep yourself safe as well because you don't want to be putting yourself at risk and also their their um, security that move around from time to time there was a time that um private cars you know allowed you to pg from like eight but you know it has changed now so you still see private cars 11 12 and even if i show it today another very very important pro on my list of studying in learning is power supply. as far as the lighting get bad and it's not raining you would have lights trust me the light is top notch if you are staying inside school Let's stop not that's why people can come to school as well to come and read because you know there always be light in school. So there's constant light. The only time I know that there's no light is when it rains and maybe the light gets bad. I know there was a period that we didn't have lights for like three days. It happened, but most times 
you always have lights you have you know as students you need lights now we need lights to charge our phones light to charge laptop for those that have lights to you know just it's even good when i know i mentioned lights, that transportation is a con but in my opinion it's also a pro it's also a good practice of studying you know because transportation within school is fairly easy like i'm talking about vehicles that move only inside school like i'm talking about kekes okay because only kekes that are allowed to move inside school like maybe you are going from your hostel to your lecture or from hostel to library or hostel to i think seven or hostel to bank or something the transportation is fairly easy you just come out of your hostel when you see a keke that pass you stop them and you enter and the price also is fairly cheap it, when I entered school, it used to be 30 naira, but now it's currently like 50 naira. You know, everything has gone up, so they also have to up their prices. It's currently 50 naira. If you are planning to study in Union or you have to give an admission, let this not be one of the ways people in the learning will scam you. Keke money is 50 naira. The transport fare for Keke is 50 naira. Transport fare for Keke is what? 50 naira. Don't let anybody scam you. Money is at home, but they don't let them scam you. I remember one of my friends that was scammed. I'm not going to go into that story, but. People get jibbed. They can just know that keke is 15. Another pro is sport. If somebody that is into sports, we have lots of sports facilities. We have a stadium. We have a gym and all of that such stuff. So if you are a sports person, you know, it might be a good fit now, for you. Another pro on my list is food. <laughs> food if you are somebody that loves to eat eh and you don't like to go through the stress of cooking there are lots i mean lots of food different students that actually offer cooking services students that sell food restaurants that sell food within and outside school food stuff if you love food i'm telling you you cannot go hungry except you are broke or you just don't feel like eating anything they are selling or food surplus if you just walk like from one bus if you are outside school now from one bus stop to another you can see like two restaurants there are lots of I'm restaurants in Illinois in, in <laughs> there are lots of restaurants in Illinois that sell food so if you are a food person don't worry you won't go hungry as far as you have the money to buy food now the cost of living as a student well in my opinion it's just like every other it's just like you are staying at home because the prices are not low they are even higher because they feel like students have more money than normal people and which is a lie it is a lie because most of us just our parents are the one. they they feel like we this market women people that sell stuff like oh students have money your parents will give you your uncle will give you your your aunties will give you your grandma will give you your grand your grandfather will give you and if you're not a girl your boyfriend will give you some people like us now that is only our parents that gives us money that we're going to do like this the cost of living is is just normal to me and sometimes i yourself especially if you are buying things inside school but they have markets outside campus where you can go and get stuff so guys that brings us to the end of this video i hope you watch this and i hope this video helps you to make a decision on whether you should start doing learning or not Thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate. Thank you for your continued love and support. It is what keeps me going. And I just want to apologize for my inconsistency in upload. It is because of Wi-Fi. <laughs> so yeah. But now Wi-Fi is back. Thank you guys. I love you. Bye.